good day. Our topic for today to be discussed is all about insulation resistance testing or meager testing for layman's term for our generator. This is a critical job to be done or important job to be done that may cause malfunction or worse, it can damage semiconductor parts of our alternator if you don't follow the procedure, the right procedure as per manual. I just received an email from our followers that after he carried out insulation resistance test and then testing the generator, there is no output on it. It means the generator is malfunction. To avoid that scenario or in Tagalog, Iwas Pusoy, you must watch this video till end. Start with number 3. This number 3 generator. This is turn off. We will check the generator. We will open this panel and then disconnect the fuse going to the control circuit. Below the ACB is the fuse we are located from. Okay. To be sure, I'm sure that there is no voltage but to be sure, we need to check the voltage. Zero. Okay, another phase, zero. Okay. For safety, use a electrical gloves. Approved. Electrical gloves. Next phase. Okay, zero means there is no voltage on it. This fuse you must disconnect. This is control circuit. This is the diagram. The generator. This is the generator number three. This is the main winding and going to F30. That is F30. That is the fuse, the three fuse, 10 amps. Okay, because at the top ACB and then at the side is F30. That is the fuse. That is for the control circuits. We need to disconnect that one. This fuse. Remove this fuse to isolate all control circuits. Check at the control circuit. This is from ACB control. Governor PPM3 that is for our PMS measuring circuit that's why we need to disconnect that one this is the fuse already disconnect good and then turn off the space heater this is our unit Hyundai brushless three phase synchronous generator and then first at the top we open the panel that is the AVR at the top for the main winding note IR testing for exciter unit is optional. It's because it is low voltage and not mandatory. Okay. Only the main winding that we need to IR test. But if dried up, the alternator is overhauled and clean. Prob probably the superintendent will request a IR testing. Just short the five points of the diode and baristor at the exciter unit and then carry it out to avoid damage the semiconductor. We need to open this panel. Fluke our IR tester and we need to use PPE. Then we're going back to the manual. Also, this is at the top and then this is X1. That is for the AVR. We need to disconnect that one. At the AVR, X1, X2, X3, there is a 3 three terminals only terminal connector only one x1 is the one we need to disconnect but for me for convenient x1 x2 x3 the three connectors located at the AVR dapat bago tayo magsisimula tatlo x1 x2 x3 lang ang babunutin bago tayo mag introduce ng IR test sa main stator we need to review again at the schematic we need to isolate all connections going to the main winding that is ACB Okay, this is the ACV and then we already close, uh, open the F30, the fuses, means there is no, no connection on the control circuit because we already disconnected the fuses. Right now, our stator, main stator is cleared and ready to IR test. Ngayon, cleared na yung stator natin, main winding, pwede na tayong mag IR test. Na importante lang na disconnect natin ang AVR at saka fuse. 
going to control socket this is the internal at the top of the alternator ito yung nasa top ng mga components this is the terminals the main winding at the top need to familiarize that is the transformers current transformers capacitors reactors the terminals and the, at the side is the AVR we need to familiarize the AVR and then we need to disconnect this three connector X1, X2, X3 for safety and then we need to use this fluke this is reliable reliable IR tester we set to 500 500 volts line to ground okay to probes already connected it's already connected then remove this x1 x2 x1 okay x2 x1 is the main important but for me i'll keep reminding you all connectors on avr to be safe just remove para sa akin convenient ako na lahat yung terminal sa AVR madidisconnect para safety tapos gagamit tayo ng tester yung reliable we already test ground to line it's okay and then Line, line 1 to ground my test ok 550 it means good it's recommended is 1 minute as per manual every terminals For high voltage generator means 10 minutes. This is line 2. For educational purpose only, just I need to test a, a second, not a 1 minute. Just for just for this video only. But in the actual, I need to do one minute for each terminals okay the reading is five five zero this video is part one see you at part two for insulation resistance or major test thank you very much